So we finished. We managed to get to Diamond 5 after how many games? Uh, 96 with the 69. Oh my god, that's that's weird. <laughs> Let's not talk about the 69 win rate right here. So I've played some games this week, and I wanted, I really wanted to go to Diamond 5 to finish the challenge. I didn't post that many games because I feel that you guys aren't really enjoying full games that much. I don't know. Uh, and I will post today a full game after this. I will post the last game, which is this, which I played horrible. But I guess after some games in which I couldn't do much, like this, in which the jungler just came in and took everything, and I couldn't do anything, or this, where everyone fed. Yeah, in some games, you can't do much, but that's it. Um, I finished today the challenge, and I had... I have pretty nice a pretty nice KDA. I have 72% win rate in 69 games with Leah with the four almost four KDA. I had seven CS per minute, which is like one less than the average challenger, which is pretty good. And in the last few games, like this one and uh, this ones in which I won, I've actually managed to reach even 8.8, 8.5, and 8.6, pretty high. The CS scores, I've started to farm more aggressively, started to farm better. Obviously, in the games I've lost, I was so tilted I couldn't do anything. This guy straight up said he will end, so I kind of gave up too, because after dying three times to 10-0 Irelia, yeah, you're gonna have a problem. And I've also played some other champions, if you note here. I've played some Serrat with a pretty good win rate. I've tilted in only one game, and the ones I've lost, there's nothing I could do. I've played some Orianna with... A decent win rate again, and some other champions that I tried, I did for fun, Kartos once and won. I did this Cassidy in game, which went horrible, and also some support or mid locks, but the team didn't help at all, so again, I played pretty good in those games. Also, I like to play Ezreal in my spare time sometimes, because it's a very cool champion concept, and it always kept me get my brain busy from doing other simpler champions. I could have played Caitlyn or Tristana better, but I feel Ezreal is the most challenging guy to play at higher elo because it requires so many skill shots to be hit and so many combos and such. And in this game you'll see I will be against a duo, which I've played again last game. I don't know how, how this happened. Basically in this game where I was 9-1, I've played... Wait... You can't see it, right? No, I can't see it. Sorry. There you go. Basically, in, in this game right here, I've uh, played against these two guys, and also this ADC, and also this uh, Gangplank. And then, the next game, I was in my last game that you see up here, I was against the same four persons with a different support. Now, <laughs> their ADC kind of tilted, and you'll see, and you'll see that in the video. And it's really an unfair win for us because he kind of trolled. But as the last game, I said I'm going to post it anyways because, well, the last game. And I didn't play good at all because, I don't know, I got tilted by Elise. But still, we did fine after all. And I will talk about more about the future of the channel at the end of the video. There will be like a 10 minutes talk after the game ends. And... We're going to see, basically the main subject is what I want to do next, and basically we're th thinking about higher elos, like Master if you can reach it, or different kind of videos, like your first game of Talia, and so I'm going to sprout out to other videos like your first game of Serrat, or and so on, because I kind of like the concept, you know. And that would be for now, we're going to jump straight into a game right now, the game that I played last night, but I didn't have time to edit anything, so yeah. Uh, I, the gameplay quality won't be as good as some for some games that you see here, like this one with 9-1 or 14-5, or this one, or, or this. I had a pretty good win rate. And in the games you've seen here that I've lost, uh, besides one, maybe most of them were because of teammates, and in which I won, you, well, you clearly see in some that my score kind of represents... Uh, quite a stomp. In most of these I won lane, but yeah, in some of them I didn't exactly. In those Z games, oh, I realized I beat this Z also, 
some time ago. Lol. Okay. It's funny. It's it's just di platinum one, diamond five, but there is the same players over and over already. So I can't really think of what's in up in high masters and challengers. You will see the same players every game. But yeah, the master and challenger changes all the time because of the rules. Yeah, still. I'm gonna stop talking now because I really like to talk a lot and it's kind of useless at this point. And let's jump straight into a game now. Uh, please enjoy, but don't expect the best game of my life. <laughs> okay, that's that's about it. So goodbye right now. Bye. Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to try to present the final game of the Unranked Diamond series. I've played a bit off screen, I've made different videos and right now I am in Platinum 1 with 2 wins and 2 loses in series towards Diamond. Now, it's funny, I've played Talia a bit and last game I was against 4 players that I'm against now in this one. I do not know how this kind of matchmaking is possible, but everyone besides their support is exactly the same as in last game. We've won very hard, but this time they picked some more aggressive champions and we don't know. They have Shaco, so which is top, so we don't know exactly what's going to happen. If you escape, I'm coming, but you yeah, know. So yeah, I'm a bit experienced against this guy, but we're not going to uh, push our boundaries here too much. I've missed so much CS there. He's going to get ahead, holy. Now Shaco is topside. We can do a word here, even though, even though they can abuse me pretty hard. I want to be as annoying as possible. Uh, let me take that. I'm going to. I'm using this uh, to fast stack it. Oops. It was a bad. That was a very bad. Uh, you know, the materializer. What if I try to go and the wrong bot here? What if? Yeah, that worked. I don't know where their Z is, but it's following. He's not waiting in his bush, is he? No, he's not. We also seen him, so... That run went pretty well. Now he will shadow and I have to dodge it. Exactly. That was the best predict I've did in the past few games only. I mean, it was kind of obvious he's going to do that, but... And we started off with a kill, Shaco also... No, Rumble has a kill. Shaco doesn't have Flash, which is uh, typical for that kind of jungler, but... Um, yeah, uh, still not going to be an easy matchup, even though I have this kill from here. Uh, I can't afford to go any closer now, I don't have Flash either, but... I see him staying like that, defensive and such, it means the jungler is not nearby. Now, I hope he doesn't come close and kill me, because I really want to recall. I'm on a non-cannon wave, so that will give me... I can't recall now, he even hard pushed it. That's excellent. That's very good. No, 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 don't. I, I don't have anything to fight there. Don't, 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 don't. And look what you made me do. Dude, come on. I pinged him to not die. I know Shaiko is there. I had no way not to die there. He baited me. Should I just let him die? I don't know why I helped him. But still, we're still in the game somehow. Ah, I lost so much. Yes, ah. This is depressing because this should have not happened at all. I really hate junglers that have no idea about the current mid lane scenarios and such. 
I was behind in CS, there was no point to gang right there, I was without mana. That was a huge mistake from my jungler and at least I'm getting some CS back here, but not that much, but still scraps, useful scraps I guess. 17 CS difference. Bot lane is winning, and that's a big plus. Problem is that I don't have anything now. Absolutely anything. And yeah. Nice, 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 nice. That Tristana might just carry me at this point. Go back, go back. And that is coming, but. They are seeing him. Oops, why did my screen go away like that? Holy. Uh, careful, careful, careful. I'd rather miss cannons and watch the map than uh, have a random Z pop up on my head. I know I'm not getting that, but there's a vision ward, I'm guaranteed there's a vision ward. And he has to farm, there's no time for him to actually reach me before I take it, which is great. 20 CS behind, this is the first game in like 10-15 games when I'm behind that much in CS. Uh, I've been in most of this game ahead in CS by large margin. And this is frankly because of that roam, which gave me a kill but wasn't enough. Uh, careful, careful, careful. And they are cooking something up again. Uh, okay, 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 coming, coming. Oh my god, this goes as bad as it can. I can't do anything, holy. Uh, and Camille probably is gonna jump on them and maybe die too. Yeah, exactly. Oh shit, triple kill. And I still, we got recovered some. We should focus on bot lane, I don't know, I, I shouldn't trust at all this, at least even though I failed there, uh, my combo went to Shaco and I greatly misplayed. <sighs> I'm a bit stressed because it's the game that I have to win, so I can kill Zed here, if he sticks to the lane, and he will probably go recall somewhere here, I will try to stop the recall if I have time, I don't think I have time, because I have this huge wave on my ass. Huh? Is this guy inting or what? Well, he did hit me pretty good. But I want to kill him if he's here. Now, thing is, if Shaco comes now, I'll waste summoner spell and I don't like that. I just want to at least just to farm because uh, she needs to get tanky. Go. Full tank the Liz. We gotta protect Trist. No 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 don't 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 stop 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 How do you stop him? See? Stop being so aggressive, Jesus man. That's that's what you get for being aggressive. Straight up ends at this point, and I have the same score as him, but uh, you've seen it before. Some things that you do can potentially ruin your mid laners lane. Mid lane. Okay, you got the point. And now he's fed. And I'm afraid to go closer. Because there might be a Z or a trash, like we've seen him here. It's a good thing we have a Tristana that's fed, but it's 
kind of hard to do something against their Z Shaco Rumble combo. We, one of them gets fed and uh, it's a bit hard from that point to do anything. As an ADC that gets uh, targeted. Oh, this is risky. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. We don't need, to, we don't need to play hardcore right now. Just a bit of farm, some smart plays, and some less. Holy! I missed so many cannons. I'm, I'm triggered. At least I closed the gap on the farm. That wasted so much time walking around. He lost a bit of advantage there now. At this point I should wait for that, but I'm going for the boots. Yeah, that's great. And Nami lived. That's that's beautiful. And if there wouldn't be any any worked ground I would just I would have just full spark on that. But I think I can exactly. I can get my kills from somewhere, which is great. Oh, that's nice. I don't know where that is, but I know I can do this. And he also got caught here. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, there's no escape. I thought it took the tower, Jesus. <laughs> uh, but still, we did pretty good there. We got kills advantage, we got kills on Tristana, and we kinda messed it up after that, but it's okay. Uh, the, she's way too behind to matter soon enough, so we should abuse this advantage. Oh shit. Ah, she escapes. Great. Don't flash. Leave her be. Great. Zed must die. I have exhaust for him though. I won't use exhaust on anyone else. I should not use exhaust on anyone else. Uh, have no flash. Have no ignite. Uh, exhaust. My bad. I think I should just push and run. There's nothing else I could do at this point. Because Zed will insta give me every time he sees me. 3, 2, 1. Okay, there you go. And another one from here. We got top tower. This guy ints. I, I won't even kill him. It's not fair. Careful, so baitable, but still. I assume there was a Z or something in that bush. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, what was that damage? suppose you will die, but not really. My bad, <sighs> I'm so bad boy. You don't expect that much damage. Now here they all can die if they are not careful. Zed has no ult though. And I'm gonna buy a stopwatch for the next team fight, where we might kill Zed because of it. Because you've seen, uh, if she had flash, he would have died. Luckily this Tristana plays good. If bot lane lost this game we would have lost probably because of the rest of that's the only lane that's doing very good. Top lane is doing fine now because Rumble is pretty tilted. And mid lane is kinda lost. From the from that Elise thingy that I pointed out before. It's enough to ruin 
a lane phase just by that and then a bit of tilt and that's all you can wish for I don't need to go closer to him I thought I could survive that ult before I don't know why and I thought he would die after even if I die like he would die too but we're in a good spot right now and I would totally go for him exhaust damage denial and the game is pretty much over that was the tipping point of the game probably and Shinko is here probably why am I that trash is confusing that skin is beautiful though I have to go in aggressive like that because because I have to catch a W come on that's our kill oh my god I could flash for it here I could but Zed is coming and I would gain nothing from it Why go tanky Elise? This is not tanky. Just just go full tank at this point. It would be more useful with that in mind. Ah, okay, Zed again got a free kill. I don't know why this Elise was pushing me there either. I have the same number of deaths as her though. Getting triggered at maximum points. Oh my god, no one to lose this. Uh, Z movement? Yeah, yeah, he's here. Coming, 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 coming. If he turns around. He could potentially kill us, so I have to get rid of these minions first. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just going out. Just get out. We got two kills from that. I mean, I don't know. Katyn didn't, I think, so just one. But it was pretty worth. Oh, the way Shaco died, I mean. At least still not going tanky, I see. Death by Elise. Uh, at least, uh, no, don't, don't, don't be careful. Let, let them take. Crush this. Go, oh, thank you, Elise. There's nothing that screams tanky here. That stopwatch is not enough. Uh, I have exhaust for the next fight. If Tristana gets a stopwatch and use it even half decent, we want this. But we're lucky that Caitlyn goes full feed, else we would have probably lost. Decent farm again. I won't get any blue buff probably. As I know my Oh my god, she's dead. As I know my junglers, uh, she probably wouldn't. She would, she would probably blame me, actually. And tower saved. Another mountain drake. 
should stay for another wave here, even though that is not here, okay. Mammy is close, so I'm not that scared. Careful. Yeah, that's good. I still don't have enough white berry cold so soon. Yeah, perhaps. Why are you hinting, dude? Jesus, this is so sad. I'm sorry, enemy team, if you've seen this. The only reason probably I'll post it because it's the last game in the series. If it's a win game, and it's probably my worst game in past four or five games. I ulted here because we need to defend this tower as much as we can. Why would we give gold for free to the enemy team? There's no point. We could just have someone randomly push at times when it's needed. We get gold. We get the we deny the gold from them, their team. They have no towers. If you if you think about it. Oh my god, that dude. I think he just stays in the bush and waits for me. He has enough shit to actually murder me. If he turns around, I will probably die. Have Zonia. No, you didn't do fine there. You're dead from that. Uh, oh my god. Jumping on him. Yeah, the exhaust was pretty, pretty nuts. You get the kills here. Bro. Do you even need help? Okay, okay, I'm coming. I didn't want to steal the kill, but suppose. Uh, I feel bad for the Zed actually in this game. Because she got his skills. And I'm sometimes starting to think I need to play that champion. Because of the beauty of it actually. Offers so much versatility. Like, look, you know, there's a bad player in the, or an unskilled player in the enemy team. Just W E Q from from the unworded zone. And I'm here to defend Camille if it's him. Okay. Okay, you're not escaping this time, brother. Oh my god. Touch the hook. Push this. No, I'm not going to escape. Well, at least. At least we can get this. And escape. That's why I don't like Shaco. He's dead. And you don't have any flashes. How do you want to actually do something meaningful there? I overcapped 10, 20, 30, 40. No, no, it's not overcapped. If I get blue buff, it's overcapped. If the blue buff still gets cooldown reduction. On the cooldown reduction, I mean. Pretty bad score for a free win for me. I mean. That Caitlyn is straight up in things, so... But yeah, I have to pause the game, as I already said. Mm, do we get this? We thought, yeah, we do shake his dead. Okay. Anyone dying there? Yeah, Tristana. A stopwatch from her would be enough in this game. Uh, I don't know why they are throwing the Baron buff. There are three people there. And Caitlyn on both, meaning I get this for free.
me. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I'm tilted. <sighs> well, I knew him. I wanted to say before I went to towards the rumble that Zed is going to come and murder my ass. It's funny that I tried to showcase the worst game of my past, I don't know how many. I had another game in which I had the same jungler, not the same this guy, but the same kind of jungler, like making me die or lose something at level 3, 4, and then that's it. Please don't jump on me. Uh, Stopwatch and Tristana would still work even though she had it before finishing. She's jumping too funny. Uh, third. This guy went for Zonia finally. We're not going to lose from this point. I also have Zonia. He's back. What the fuck? Tell damage. Oh my god, I'm so terrible. And where is that? That is here. I have to stick with my team. Actually, I could just push mid. Yeah, that died there. That's it. We can win from this point. Should ban that instead of Yasuo, I think. Even though... Oh my god. Even though that matchup is... Somehow... Oh my god, really. Please kill someone, thank you. Can I finish here? I'm still alive, but not for long. Tristana, finish! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about it, I guess. Uh, she won't. Yeah, she won't finish. It's impossible unless she has flash. Yeah. Should have just auto attacked the Nexus. She could have kited. I mean, if I held with an auto attack. Yeah, this. If we lose from this point, I'll be real pissed. I don't know why I bought this. We should go for the great, great Rabadons. Seven, six, five, seven. Six, seven, six, sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're going to lose mid lane tower. I feel this Nami is stronger than their Caitlyn, by the way. I don't know. They have 24 kills on top laner and mid laner. We have 12. They have the double the amount. We have 24 kills in total on top mid and jungler. And they have 24 kills on top. On top mid and ADC, I mean. <laughs> if you look at it. The kill distribution is kinda even, like me and Camille is like equal to Rumble and Tristana is equal to Z or something. But yeah, in terms of flat power, you know, we know it's not like that. You know, in normal team fight, we have four people and a CC player that deal damage. So they kinda have the problem at hand. Last game that this Caitlyn played pretty good. I don't know why she's meeting in this one. Okay. I altered, clicked, whatever the wrong target. By going this build, 
I have no mana to do anything. I could jump. I'm staying just... Yeah, that guy is dead. Or... Where is Tristana? Oh, Tristana died! Okay. Died from that ult. We still can lose at this point. Because Caitlyn came back, came back into the game by simply being Caitlyn in a late game. Or we should get... They will get Baron now. Steel Baron, boys. Shaco can solo it, that's the problem. Boys or girls. Wanna bet? Shaco will start it? I might lose the bet, by the way. But, uh... How they aggregate towards this... Uh, yeah, yeah, we're lucky, we're lucky, we're lucky, we're lucky. Now, only if we'd kill Zed. Somehow. Should have bought an elixir. Like... I could ult and finish in style if my TM if Zed is there I don't know I need I need Zed Caitlyn I need Zed and Rumble actually there Careful don't 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 Oh never mind That was bad. That was our key to get... Why am I getting this? It was our key to get Baron. Now we're not getting Baron. Yeah, no. We should just back. Uh, I think she will take blue. How am I higher level than Tristana again? Oh, she actually did. This guy is very nice. Even though she knows she has a probably a trash mid laner, he still passes blue buff now. Why are you doing this? You're so nice. I think we just suicided here. Yeah, that's the best I could. I didn't pop. That Nami is my hero. Yes! We got this! Yeah, free, 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 go! No, free! Free, come on! Unless there's a shake of hidden, which I don't know of, around. Exactly. Look, three mountain drakes, come on! There's no reaction time to that. What? It's here. It was close enough to react on that, but still. I would ult towards him. But a bit afraid. That clone fucking kills me. Jesus. I have no exhaust and... But, yeah, Tristana has that. If Tristana has everything, come on, we can't lose this. We will not fucking lose this. 
and we'll have how much? 60% true damage to epic towers and monsters? Like, we can three shot that Nexus, come on. Holy, that drops fast. What was that? That was the fastest wreck of my life. Look, look at the damage. <laughs> she one shots everything here. Oh, okay, we won. Yeah, this is it. This is the end of the game. And I am happy to announce that I've reached without this game by my own merit Diamond 5. <laughs> this game was horrendous from all points of view. As a final game it was awful and truth be told after... yeah let me just... let me just... Uh, there you go guys. Who do we even honor in this game? Just on a carried Camille is kind of my friend. I, I, won't, I won't honor you, that's clear. I think I'm going to honor this guy for the outstanding save he did. Everyone is going to honor Tristana, that's clear. And here we are in the beautiful Diamond 5 division. Now, we want this season, we want Master, okay? We want that. I don't know if we can reach it, but we want that. And let's not read that chat, okay? Let's just look at damage. And somehow I've been in some bad damage. GG, my lovely team. I should start playing that. Yeah, the damage is pretty cool, even though I felt like a piece of shit. Uh, let's just. Actually, I'm gonna stick here a bit. Uh, I wanna say, I wanna talk about the bits of the future, about the future of the channel. I don't know the direction. Where do we game? Where do we go from now on? I, I can't focus with that chat, Jesus. I'm just going to somewhere where it's not cancelled. Like here. It's decent. Like this. <sighs> they won't stop typing. Will they ever? Stop talking. Uh, I think I will report that Caitlin. So, the future of the channel will be based on probably higher quality gameplay and Talia gameplay. And if you want some other champions, just say I'm thinking to make some other videos. Your first game of Talia was a start. I'm thinking to do some more champions. That was a pretty fun concept for me. I liked it. I'm thinking to reach a higher division so we can actually showcase some good games, some higher ELO games in which I don't play like a trash. I need to learn how to not get tilled by my own jungler and how to focus on the lane phase better when my jungler does some kind of mistakes. And I really want to get to higher division this season, even though I sometimes tilt and might not be able. I won't play Tilia only because uh, I think it happened to all of us. We get stuck at some point. We reach a certain elo. In Platinum 4 somewhere I had 100 points in series. Like I was in series for 5 times and I couldn't do it Tilia alone. I don't know, I was simply tilted in series and I had to go. Like I did it in 4 wins with Sarat. That was huge KDA and such, it worked best. Now even if you look in my last games, you'll see a lot of different champions and you'll see some Talia too, mostly Talia, and I really liked to play this champion up until now and I still do, I hope they don't over nerf her. And you'll see some good scores, some bad scores, and I will showcase also on the screen uh, the op.gg stats. Or I, I think I will do it at the beginning. Yeah, I will do it at the beginning because it will be the final final stats and with this game included, which was pretty trash for me, but still works. 
so for the next videos if you're interested in something in particular I'm really uh, curious about what exactly you are interested in so I can you know try to do something try to make a video and such uh, and I want to do some educational videos I want to grow the channel somehow in that direction to make quality things for, for people that are stuck or that simply want to learn and to help them climb somehow and I don't really know what to say anymore because I'm talking for like 10 minutes now <laughs> so that's all for now I will make another video soon it's no I'm not going to take any huge breaks probably but I will keep playing like I want to reach higher elo and I don't know let's see what what's next let's see where we go next from this point I really hope you enjoyed this even though I played like trash and I don't know don't get tilted don't play good to uh, focus I have random random uh, pieces of advice or uh, motivation <laughs> I don't know I'm just talking about right now because it's 2 a.m. after I finish this game, it's like my seventh game today. So yeah, break time. Anyway, anyway, have a nice day or night whenever you'll be watching this video because it will take probably within four hours for me to finish it. And see you somewhere next time, I guess. Hopefully, please don't leave me. Please don't leave me alone. <laughs> so yeah, have a nice day or night, guys, and goodbye. And thanks for watching. Bye.